this timeline on the reopening of Norwood Hospital after that flooding? We're hearing it could be up to a year that it's closed, impacting not only Norwood but the surrounding communities. Yeah, we're talking to uh, we're talking to Norwood Hospital just about every day, and um, and the whole thing. Um, was a cataclysmic event in terms of weather. I mean, I think they got seven inches of rain in 45 minutes. And, um, and under that kind of stress, the culverts and the storm drains and all the rest um, in Norwood uh, had obviously really significant issues, which played out and rolled into, into the hospital. And I think at this point, I think all the buildings at this point um, have been uh, either considered to be significantly damaged or condemned. And our first objective was to make sure we worked with the emergency management personnel and everybody else to make sure we found space and place for all of the patients, which, um, and again, because of some of the work that's been done by the healthcare community generally during COVID, there are so many more relationships between and among players than there, than there used to be, uh, than the, a very short period of time, everybody, uh, who was in that hospital was safely uh, placed in, a, in an appropriate setting somewhere else. And the thing we've really been focused on is making sure we find places and spaces for the clinicians so that those clinicians can continue to maintain the relationships they have uh, with their patients. And that's really been our focus for the past couple of days. And we are expecting to continue to have a dialogue with the hospital about what their plans are with respect to the physical structure and we've talked to our insurance commissioner and basically said you need to reach out to the insurance industry and make sure if there's adjuster, adjuster work that needs to get done, it gets done quickly. Um, but I think we're playing this a couple days at a time as more information becomes available. But the first things we were most concerned about was place and space for all the patients and then making sure we came up with a strategy to ensure that the clinician-patient relationships that currently existed through that hospital and through its outpatient department weren't disrupted, and I think for the most part, we're going to be able to do that. The next issue will be what to do with the physical plant. Is a year in line with what you're hearing so far, or could it be even more than that? I've heard a lot of different possibilities on that one, a lot.